This is Paul from Embroidery Source and ES Digital. In today's short video, I'm going to answer a question that I, I get all the time from my customers, and that is how do we use and apply a distressed effect to uh, text or images that we're working on that we, for printing? So a really easy way to create your own distressed effect is, is this. Take a piece of white copy paper and crumple it up. Crumple it up then flatten it out roughly and put it in a scanner or take a photograph of it but in, in my case I put it in the scanner and I scanned it at 300 dots per inch in grayscale. Now before I open that image what I'm going to do in Corel Draw I want to create a colored background so I can see what's happening. So I'm going to double click on the rectangle tool and that's created a white rectangle on top of my page. Now I'm going to give that a color so I'm going to left click on the color bar to give it a blue color. Okay. It just helps me to see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to import file menu and import the scan of the crumpled piece of paper. And here it is in my scans folder. So I'm going to import that and plonk it on top of the page. There it is. Now you can see the, the differentiation between the white paper and the crumpled areas. It's not so noticeable. So I'm going to go to the bitmap menu, menu and select um, auto adjust. And you can see that makes the crumpled areas much more noticeable. Okay, next thing to do, go to the bitmap image, uh, bitmap menu, I'm sorry, and select convert to bitmap. Now that might seem a bit um, a bit odd because this is a bitmap already. It's 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 a scanned image from my uh, from my scanner, uh, so it is a bitmap image. But uh, bear with me. Select convert to bitmap. Choose 300 DPI, black and white one bit, and anti-aliasing, and click OK. Now, not much has happened. In fact, if anything, it looks like the image degraded a little bit. But what we now have is an image that has a white fill and black outlines. So I want to remove the fill so I can see through to my black, my blue background. So I'm going to left click the mouse up here on the delete color um, cross. So I left click. You can see what happens. My white background has disappeared. And now all I can see is the black lines that make up the distressed look. Now, if you actually don't want black lines, if you want white, a white distressed look, you simply right click on the white color in the, in the color bar and the distressed lines change to white. Or right click on black to change them back to black again. Okay, so now we have our image uh, prepared, ready to, to uh, create our distressed effect. I'm now going to delete the blue background and I'm going to create some text on screen. So click on the text tool. Um, did I spell that correctly? No, I didn't. Typing too quickly. I'm still a, a one finger typist, I'm afraid. So I've created my text. I'm now going to make it bigger. And I'm going to make it higher and perhaps choose a more bold font. Uh, how about this one down here? Say Bauhaus. Okay, stretch it out, make it a bit bigger, and give my text uh, a color. So let's say I'm going to make it pale blue. So I'm going to left click on the blue color uh, on, the, on the color bar. Okay, so now I have my blue text, and here below that I have the image that I want to use to create the distressed effect. So what I do now with the image selected, I simply go to the um, effects menu and I drag down to where it says power clip and I choose place inside frame and now big black arrow appears on the screen I click on top of the object that I want the distressed effect to appear in and it's gone inside but I need to adjust it now you can see the distressed effect at the bottom so what I do, what I do now is I right click on top of it and select edit the power clip. So now I can move my image up and I can position it 
much more accurately uh, on top of the lettering so that it all fits in um, drag that end in a little bit okay back to the effects menu uh, sorry right click on top and select finished editing this level okay and there's my distressed effect so that's just one way of doing it of course you can use any bitmap image so any bitmap image image you have uh, import it into Corel go to the bitmap menu and convert to a bitmap black and white one bit with anti-aliasing uh, and then left click the white cross at the top of the color bar to remove the fill color and then with the right mouse button you can right click on any color you want for the distressed effect okay that's it thanks for your time see you on the next uh, video